Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Apocalypse! <laughs> Where, as you guys know, the entire world is starting to fall to the zombie, to the zombie, to the Z disease, the Z disease, whatever you want to say about it. It's it's all happening, and apparently, my administration power is really good. So I'm going to start encouraging. Um, excuse me. Capitalists and stuff like that. Maybe I could get a good decent economy going and this is a good decent thing. Um Yeah. The world is entirely fallen to the zomb to the Z disease and it's up to us as the Italians to make sure our nation is safe and free for the rest of the world to congregate and maybe do a counter interaction against this gigantic horde. And wow, we have no natural resources. I keep forgetting about that every time I go into this. I'm like, yeah, we'll build some stuff, and now I remember, wait, we don't really have any stuff. We have a nice sulfide deposit, which I think I'm finally going to capitalize on. So let's build some... Let's build an ammunition factory, because that'll help us out in the long run. And start encouraging craftsmen already. Okay, there we go. Oh, gosh. The zombies are breaking out everywhere. The world has... Except... No, oh, I thought... I thought Sardinia was alive, but apparently not. I was about to say, and except for Sardinia, who somehow is still alive even without this. And we are tearing our people to death. I'm not even caring. This is one of the few times, like I said, I will not care about tearing my people to death. They don't need that much of stuff, and I can get circular work wages? Hmm. You know, that would be good maybe for another time. That'd be good for another time. Right now, I need to make sure my people are not angry at me. They need to understand that I'm the king and the ruler, and I'm trying to save all of our bodies, and... Holy shoot, has Greece surviving this? Oh my goodness, Greece is surviving the zombie. No, wait. Wait, right when I said that, now, now they're starting to die. Wait, wait. I think I might have just spelled the doom for Greece. Goodbye, Greece. Goodbye! <laughs> Oh gosh, so, oh gosh, so now we're just waiting for something to happen, or a specific something to happen, so I can show you guys, not that specific something to happen, that was not what I was talking about, stop doing events, let me pause it, okay, Prussia and, and France made peace, that's good, they shouldn't be fighting in this time, and you guys go crush that zombie horde again, because they always get stuck. I hate you guys so much. Okay, so guys, go start crushing the rebels, the natural rebels too. Okay, so which one? Okay, so we have regular rebels with horde rebels. Um, kill the horde rebels first because they are slightly more deadly than any other type of rebels. I mean, I can deal with human rebels. There's, there's no, there's no problem with me and human rebels. But those, okay, you guys quickly go down and crush some of these guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to that last guy. I think he's gonna win. Um, uh, are you guys about done with the liberal agitation? Seriously? I mean, I'm being serious. I mean, this is going on for like a couple years, and you guys are actually costing me a couple things, which I'm worried. Does this mod know the difference between regular rebels and zombie rebels? Because if it doesn't, we are, we are potentially boned, and I'm not even joking. Let's see. Oh, shyster. Shyster, shyster. Wait, wait. Does it know the difference? Okay, it does know the difference. Good gracious, I am so glad this mod is advanced. Um, uh, you, you guys are wondering. Well, basically, it, it'd be kind of a shame if I just, like, naturally died from humans. That were humans, and then somehow turned into zombies without me even knowing it. That'd be extremely bad. Alright, and I don't know why you guys would fight me during the zombie apocalypse, because we all kind of need to band together to survive. You know what I mean? We're all brothers and sisters here. We're all trying to fight for the same thing, which is survival. And I'm actually doing... I don't think you guys should be yelling at me. Yeah, you guys really should not be yelling at me right now. I'm doing a dang good job in the zombie apocalypse. I may be a little bit a dictator, yes, but... You know what? Sometimes a dictator gets the job done. And that's all I'm going to say about that matter. <laughs> okay, so we got our troops lining up. Still protected, still got... We are going to have, like, zero population by the end of this. I mean, seriously, I we have killed more population due to our own dictatorship than we ever actually killed anything else. So, um, as far as I can see, the countries that are surviving right now are Korea. No, wait, Korea is...
completely zombified. Um, no, Japan is survived. Has America survived? Yes, the USA is survived. And Mexico has survived. I don't... I think it's kind of because the zombies have not moved up over here yet. I think once they get over to here, they will all be stopped. But for right now, we have stopped all kind of mini boards from moving around, which is good. We're healing up our army, which got demolished. And I am terrifying the heck out of my people. I don't even... <laughs> it's not even registering how much I'm terrifying them. I'm just like, yeah, you guys work. You guys work for free. I don't care, you guys are all working for the benefit of the, of the human mankind. Which is, you know, I think always the best. I, 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 oh shoot! They just have popped out of nowhere! Oh no! Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh shoot. Oh, shoot. Guys, go sent in! Go get, go save our men! Go save our men! Okay, okay, okay. And here they come more. Go get them down. Go get them down. Go get- Ah, no! No, kill them! Oh shoot, we have tons of zombies! Oh gosh, they are- Oh gosh, they are coming! Oh gosh! I hate you rebels! You guys made me so weak! Oh gosh, oh gosh! Oh gosh, I'm not gonna win this! I am definitely not gonna win this! Oh gosh, I am dead! I am so not gonna live! But what I can do- Where are my ships? Ships! Block up this! Make sure they do not be able to come over here. <laughs> the last disrespect effort I can do to save the human race is I'm going to have to divide my ships, block this up, block all survivors. This is very harsh. We're going to keep a lot of hundred dead men in here, but this is the only way we can save ourselves. Make sure the zombies cannot swim. Blow them out of the waters. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Go on a land, you. Oh no, 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 no. Zombies? No, these are just red shirts. That's okay. I can deal with red shirts. Red shirts are fine. Um, but over here, um, it seems like I'm going to have to. It seems like I'm going to have to rebuild my entire empire from here. I kind of laugh at this, but uh, it shouldn't be laughing. But I should be okay. So I'm going to build a new army over here. Uh, build an army of. Yeah, let's build some. Two of those guys. Um. One, I, I don't. I just need some cheap troops right now. I don't need big gigantic troops. Just need a decent sized army while I still have some. Please tell me on the island. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, please do not spawn on the island. That's the only thing I'm I'm hoping for right now. If they spawn on the island, we are doomed. I can deal with I can deal with these guys. If they spawn on the island, that's fine. Just keep spawning over there. I don't really care. Oh my goodness, there are so many zombies. Those Zeds are. I hate this My Vegeta was doing so good until that stupid rebellion happened. Like, we were doing awesome. I really do think that. We were doing so awesome, so great, and then all of a sudden that stupid, stupid anti new government had to spawn. He just did. That, that's all I gotta say. It, we were doing so great. I was feeling like... Oh, we're gonna have to... <laughs> And right now we have 8,000 rebels just turning forth over there. Our shells are Tonga, oh gosh. And now this... My population is going down so quickly because I... Because guys, like I said earlier in the last episode, once they conquer the region, they start to kill this region. So this region is going by, is going just death and decay. And a Scandinavia has formed. How weird. <laughs> and it's starting to get conquered. How... Not weird, and yes, it's starting to happen, so I can finally start showing you guys. So basically, after a little bit of while, and if your nation's been dead long enough, I think if it basically gets a zero population, it becomes Zombieland. And Zombieland is a precursor to destruction and death. Let me just say that now. And oh my goodness, we are... We are but a shambles of our former selves. But at least I realize the zombies' one weakness. The water! Yes! Oh gosh. Good thing the water protects me right now. Oh gosh, I would be so terrified if they if they somehow broke me, but I was Okay. You guys go right here. Quickly group up. We're just trying to we're just trying to get a decent army to come fight for us. So right now we don't have a decent army. Right now we have a very bad army. 
try to do its best in the world because oh gosh and yeah they're moving away good go away zombie shoot shoot my zombie shoot Scandinavia wants to get military access of some sorts it's good and we're just like I said we're just trying to live that's all I'm trying to do I'm not trying to fight them I'm not trying to do anything I'm just trying to live on my little tiny island in Sicily because I think this is probably the only place I'll be able to keep myself from, from dying um, I'm also hoping that this does not, like if you capital dies, I'm hoping that this does not mean that the game is over for you, because otherwise we're basically dead now, because I don't think I'll be able to pump my capital again. I'm going to get a quick horseman unit, that way I can do some more stuff. And these rebels are just annoying as heck. You guys had to spawn a new order rebellion or whatever you wanted to do. Oh gosh. Come on, yes, yes, yes. Oh gosh, that was close. That was close. Go kill them. Go kill them. Yes. Okay. And now what we are going to do, guys, is just sit here and not do anything. Now that we have saved our island from inevitable destruction by rebels, we're just going to sit here and not do anything. Because right now, that's the only thing we can do. We are in a dire situation. I'm already taxing my people to the utmost. Most of them are in poor trades. I'm going to decrease my administration power because I don't really need it right now. Oh gosh, we are doomed. In all nation, in all matters of the words, we are doomed. Because as you guys can see, slowly but surely, the zombie world is taking over. When you guys can always see, Prussia is always starting to die. Um, yeah, just keep spawning in all those places. And as you can see, what happens, guys, is that once they become zombie, zombie land, they start to actually disappear on the map. So, the potentiality is, is that if you can survive the zombie apocalypse, you can potentially start this entire colonizational program that could potentially conquer all of Europe. So, you know, as much as I hate to say it, if I lose the mainland, I can always come back to it. Um, you know, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many, I guess. I mean, we can, we can repopulate the world from this. We can come back from this. We're just going to have to wait for a lot of the regions, sounds so terrible, to a lot of the regions to die out for us to eventually came off throne as the true and rightful rulers. So let me see, how much population will I actually have at the end of this? We will have 380 population because the rest of my country will just die. I can't, there is no way I'll be able to defend myself against these guys. Red shirts and rebellions, not a good combination. But yeah, the world is slowly starting to turn white. Spawning. Good thing I am not. It's not spawning it. Oh gosh, dang it! You know, as soon as I said that, as soon as I said that, I knew this was going to happen. Now they have even a bigger army on here, and I don't get why. But they just have to. Okay, build just, build just these guys if you have to. I just need regular militiamen. I just need someone to protect my land right now. Because right now, that is so. You know, I probably should, I probably should turn off the revolt here, because I think it's a little bit too hard with the entire, the entire land revolt. Although, it could be, this could be the change in the king. Them wanting the new king to die and wanting to stay in power and all that kind of stuff. And I'm actually not, I mean, I don't think anyone's producing small arms anymore, so I can't actually get any weapons. So right now, we're basically just stuck here on an island full of 15,000 rebels. Oh gosh, this is not good. And they keep spawning. They don't die, they just keep spawning, but the rest of the world is slowly dying out. <laughs> La I guess I guess the safe zone everyone. The safe zone is this place right here. Okay, we got one soldier being built, so that means we can still build somewhat of an army. I'm gonna move to here now, Catalonia. Because they're probably gonna move to Messena. Or, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm to so that we can maybe get one more troop over here. Because watch, I think they're going to move to Catalonia, am I correct? Yes! Good thing I know AI. Okay, they're going to move to Catalonia, and I'm just going to do, I, I'm just going to do like, control-based system of just island hopping. Well, not island hopping, just land hopping. I'm going to conquer this little region right here so I can gain some more troops. And, come on, conquer a little bit faster. And now, 
Due to a lot of our nations dying, we are now considered a great power. Okay, and we can build two troops here. Um, we're gonna need some decent troops, otherwise we're gonna die. I don't know if we're gonna be able to build a cannon in time. Um, just build some of these if you can. Horsemen be really nice right now. I did. We don't have wool. We're not. No one's building wool right now. Um. Then just build some regular more infantry. I can handle more infantry. Just, let's just keep... I have to stay right here too. I can't just move. So let's see. Are you the best commander we have at defense? Let's just make sure about that. Because I just need a good commander in defense. Because if we do not have a good defense commander in defense, we are doomed. Okay, Diaz. Amuno Diaz seems like to be our best defensive guy ever. Yeah. He might have been... He might have been one of the generals I was originally in fighting against us in the zombie apocalypse and the only place they're gonna move is right there so we're gonna have to hope that we can fight them yes we're fighting against these rebels again oh gosh we beat them again okay that's good I'm gonna wait for the soldiers to heal right here so I can group them all up and then we'll just start sieging all this land Are you guys making it no I'm gonna see if I can actually build these stupid horsemen because that would make our life so much easier and we are taxing our people to almost break dead levels. Um, you know, this is what kind of requires to be in a zombie apocalypse. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Alright, and just close that factory right there. I already know that one's not going to work. That one's not going to work. Um, I do not know why it says we have no, uh, no sulfide. Because we should have some sulfide here. Right in here. That's the reason why I got here. And... Wow, the world's starting to turn drastically different. I mean, look at that. The world's just starting to disintegrate, and oh my goodness, the UK has now fallen too. America! No! America! My friends! Don't die! Oh gosh, we are moving up pretty quickly in terms of world powers. Scandinavia is actually the third greatest power in the world, and they just fell. Oh gosh. Tax efficiency probably is not going to help us very much. Oh gosh, this, this, is, this is kind of becoming empty right now. The world is slowly but surely becoming empty. I mean, the world is turning into this gigantic nothingness. It's kind of sad. Can I start colonizing? No, I cannot. That kind of stinks. But it kind of stinks more than I can't do. I just I kind of have to watch the world burn. And my last little safe zone right here. Last little place of, of safety in the entire world, Tano. I'm not even going to answer any calls. I don't even care about any of this. Because it doesn't even really matter. We're all. Oh my goodness. Look at this world. Shut down. Whatever you guys have. Make sure to come back. Oh gosh. This is still. You know, this is the part of the of this public just how, just how, like, empty the world becomes. You know what I mean, guys? Because as I slowly sit here watching this, I'm just... What? France, I think, is regaining some of its land. I think due to colonization, maybe? Um... I don't know. I thought they were all dead, though. But it seems like... It seems like there's still pocketed resistance against the hordes. Apparently the world has not completely died off yet, but I don't know, I honestly don't know, it seems like our land's about to die off in the north, with the 120 rebels just sitting there doing nothing, yeah, I'm not gonna go save my land up there, zombie, no, zombie France is about to fall, Scandinavia is gonna fall a little bit later, oh gosh, everyone's almost all dead, except the Jed, the Jed has one region that it's still holding on to, which I'm amazed at. So is Omar. Omar might actually be one of the leading competitors in this game because of the fact that they are still alive at the very end, so... Wow. I'm, I'm just amazed that some of these countries, like, likely going to survive me. Um... Call me a doubter, but I did not expect some of these guys to live. Um, let's get... Yeah, let's, get, let's get medicine. What am I doing? What am I doing? Must be in a wartime economy here. Get some medicine. And oh gosh. Oh 
Oh gosh, the world is slowly starting to dissipate around me. This is not good, everyone! But it seems like, uh, this, like I said, it seems like the world's starting to come back slowly, but surely. Um, uh, he said surely. Uh, no, that's me, at least. Pretty sure that's me. No, that's me, still alive. Wow. Yeah, it seems like, in some cases, we are, in some of these places, little Pokemon's resistance, like, like this and batting, are starting to come back. And, uh-oh. But, oh gosh. It seems like we're out of time, people, for today. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, quick update. So, I basically fast-forwarded into the, into the future, where the entire world had basically ended, and then was coming back. What do I mean by that? Well, basically, it comes like this. The entire world just ended, and the entire world looks like this. And this is how I thought everything was going to happen. You know, the Chinese are kind of surviving in Taiwan in isolated little quarantine zones of Queen Yang, Vince, and Red Blue. Um, you know, a couple places like right here are still being conquered, and most of the world population is almost all dead. Just, let, let's be real here. It's almost all dead. Um, but what's happening, it seems like the greater powers, the bigger powers, are, are basically able, they're, they're, they are able to, to colonize their, their places faster than the AI or the zombies can do to conquer them. So I thought this game was going to end once we, like, conquered everything and did all that kind of stuff and, you know, I did that, but they're still here. All these nations, Austria, Prussia, France, France, the UK, and Spain. Spain's doing probably the best out of all of them. They're all starting to come back. Don't know why you're not colonizing this either. I was unable to colonize. I, I know I'm not able to colonize, but I don't know why Spain's not able to colonize. And it is just... It just boggles my mind because, you know, as much as this mod is fun, you know, I never really thought this would have much we, we, Playable value, but this actually does. I mean, think about it. Once the world ends, all these great nations will come out of their little shells or little um, caves and be able to start a new, start a new gigantic nations. I mean, look at that. Scandinavia formed. Um, the United States, as much as it's conquered, the East Coast is all destroyed, and the Walking Dead is happening right now. They're able, the government is able to still colonize and still get all of its regions back. Which means it could potentially regain all of it through just being able to out colonize the people that actually killed them. That seems so interesting right there. That's like mind boggling fun. Oh gosh. I would love, like, I would see some love to join this, but what happened to my nation is that these stupid red, these red, I really should have deleted. I really should have deleted the uh, Rebel Speech game. Because what happened was that these Rebels eventually overspawned me and killed me. And I can't really do much about it because I'm just not strong enough. It was all because the Italians were already being formed. That was the only reason why. Because the Italians were already formed and so... Basically, we got the short end of the stick. And so, yeah, as you can see, you can already... You guys can kind of see it right now. All this formation is so much shitty. Over here. We're gonna hide out. We're gonna hide out over here in tunnels until our land is able to handle us. We're not gonna colonize it. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just doing, you know, I'm doing a very basic example. But look at this: the world's resources are right for the plucking. I mean, I mean, seriously, the, the amount of stuff you can do after this is so much fun. It's so little effort. Look at this. We're just slightly expanding into every other land. Because we have basically no other land. I mean, most of our land is dead right now due to the rebels. Thank you a lot, rebels. You guys helped us out so much. Seriously, the rebels were not here. We were good, good, good. Uh, apparently, we just won that, which is good. Good. I'm glad you guys are calming down just a little bit. And we won that. Good. Oh. Wait, are we Italy? Oh, no, wait. This is turning into Italian land. Oh, do that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna see you guys. Hordes. Yeah, go my hordes! Go my pretties! Conquer all of Italy! Because Italy may, may have messed us over in this game because of that. But anyways, I just wanted to get this in a quick update to show you guys the last little bit of this mod. Great, great mod. This was a great mini Let's Play. Um, I mean...
gosh, I this would be one of those let's plays I would love to play on my just all all the time. But um, I'm not gonna. Yeah, this just seems so much fun. <laughs> I, I I I really don't like to say this seems so much fun. I mean, conquering back. I mean, if you can, you could unable to colonize your naval base close enough. Black costumes. Gonna have to extend my naval base. I mean, we have enough money to do stuff, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick update for that, and yeah, this was a great mini Let's Play. Hope you guys go check out this mod, hope you guys go get this mod, and I'll see you guys next time.